was amazed by the students that were there, the talent that was there. The teachers here really believe in you, and that's the most important thing. I never took a lesson before in my life. Now I'm at one of the best conservatories in the world. With the train that you get for classical music, you can use that as a foundation. GRCC helped me find my voice. Being a student, mm -hmm. there's a lot of like camaraderie between yeah. like I know for the vocal students. You know, we like we encourage each other and you know if someone did something that you were like oh you know that was amazing you did a great job and we learn mm -hmm. you learn so much from watching them perform seeing what they're doing and then hearing the critique yeah, it's just yeah. it's a it's mm -hmm. great to have yeah, also can, uh, sorry yeah you can hear like uh, something that a professor says about one student and go oh I actually have that problem too and you can apply it mm -hmm. to, to your lessons and what right. you're doing it's like so. a master class every time yeah, yeah. Like every, every Thursday week. GRCC I think gives you a really good place to get your feet wet. Yeah. Um, especially if you've never had lessons or you don't even know anything about music. You know, like when I started, I, I didn't know anything about opera. I was like, opera, I've seen one <laughs> opera, that's it. I didn't know anything about it or how to sing it. And it's a good place to really figure out what you want to do and how you want to get there to do it. And all the faculty is really good about um, helping you to get there. Porto, porto. my first voice lesson my second semester of college and I think it helps especially if you're in a situation like mine where you're not sure or you think you're interested but you never really studied because it just gives you a chance in such a low-key situation to kind of get your technique under you mm -hmm. and like learn the solids for a, for a classical for a classical style I like, came back a little older. Um, I had kind of started studying somewhere else and then had taken a break. And I knew that I, I still wanted to study music, but you know, I just, I needed to get like my foot in the door, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, just get a good grasp on the theory and the oral comp and the history, all of those things that I knew I would, I would definitely need more one-on-one -on -one attention with. What I like about Grand Rapids Community College, the music school, it's, it's small, it's quaint, and everyone is, is like a family. It's no competition really amongst the students. The faculty works together. I now attend Oklahoma City University. I had no inkling of where to go and what to do, but they led me and they held my hand and still now today I am, you know, I keep in contact with them and they know what I'm doing and they're very supportive of me now and um, they know my growth and it just really helps to know where someone knows where you've come from and you can come back to them. I come home and visit, I have lessons and diction and coaching and it's, it's great. It's just like a lifetime plug that I have and I couldn't have done it without them. So, you know, I came to CC and I was amazed by how patient the teachers were, how willing they were to help you in any way. I mean, even if it was, if you were interested in something outside of school, they were there yeah. to give you encouragement or to even, I mean, ask you, like, what do you want to do and how can I help you get to that next level? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's something that is nice about coming here and it's smaller and they have that time to actually connect with all you know with all the students and every teacher you know tended to just take a year of classes, you know, start voice lessons because I'd never had any before I came. And so I was like, you know, I'll just try a year and then I was planning on transferring after that. But I actually found that I, I really loved GRCC a lot and I stayed for the whole degree plus the extra year for the macro program. And I just, I found that 
even even if I had wanted to go into pop music, I found that with with the train that you get for classical music, you can use that as a foundation to go on, and you can still you can still sing different genres as long as you have that that base to work off of, where you're not going to lose your voice. It's, it's about healthy mm -hmm. singing, really. Yeah. Right. I mean, you can, you can yeah. still sing what you want to sing, but you can do it without losing your voice. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, somebody said one of the voice teachers said that they had uh, for the first time a rocker come in. They're like, I want to take voice lessons, and you know, so they doesn't lose their voice all the time. <laughs> Relationships with both of my piano private teacher and voice teachers. I had a few here, and they just care about you so much. And if they see that you are putting in the work and you want to succeed, they will put in even more energy because they have all that knowledge. But you need to show them. And I wanted this, and I always they saw how hard I was working. And ever any time I came and I did less. They could put that pressure on me yeah. and show me, well, you gave me this much yesterday and today you gave me this much. Our faculty is amazing. We have, you go to a, a large university and sometimes you get stuck studying with graduate students or you get people that haven't met, maybe been trained as well. And we have really solid faculty. Everybody's done something amazing. Everybody <laughs> has had a really great career. And they're still doing right, things. Yeah. Um, you know, I got so many recommendation letters. I got so many calls. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten recommendation letters and connections to like world-renowned pianists like John Wussman, who worked with Pavarotti, mm. and I went and had coachings with him. And I go there every single year and I see him. You know, and without the connection that I had here with the faculty, I I don't know if I would ever get to John Wussman, mm -hmm. who's an amazing mm -hmm. musician, and you just grow in an hour from him, you know, well, so much. I was able to get practice lessons pretty much everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I went to audition because of the because the teachers here like wrote letters and like, yeah, to kind and, of like and, open the door for me. I'm going to go to Graz, Austria, this summer, and it just kind of came about because my voice teacher had a poster, you know, on the wall, and I think I had asked about it a couple of times, and I was finally like, I'm just going to do it. Like, if I don't make it, I don't make it, but if I don't try, and he was the same way. He's like, why not? You know, give it a shot. And, you know, I was lucky enough to even get some scholarship towards it. So, I, I you know, it all stems to the teachers here, you know. Mm -hmm. The teachers here are always looking for someone that they can bring into the program. Mm -hmm. I think that's a huge difference is when you go to most other schools, it's, oh, it's a privilege to study with us. Yeah, of course you want to come here. Here it's, it's a privilege for us to teach you. Yeah. And yeah. what can we do to make you better? I mean, that's a huge difference. Um, I, didn't wa I did not want to sing. I did not want to do it. I refused. And it took lots of bugging and finally, finally I agreed. And I'm so glad I did, because it's, I mean, that's what I'm doing with my life now. Grand Rapids Community College is, is a community. It says it in the name, and that's exactly what it is. Your, your name and not a number. They're, they're very personable with you, and they help you to grow. The one thing I have to say, you have to be able to work hard and focus, because they do know who's really working hard and who really wants it. So you have to come in and focus, come in focused, ready to work like you've never worked before. And just keep in your mind all the time that you can do it. Nothing's greater than you. You just have to believe in yourself. This is the first semester that I decided to start singing. It was my second semester in, in college. And I remember distinctly walking up to Catherine and saying, you did this really, really well. Do you remember that when we sat in the practice room and I'm like, how do you do that? Oh, I need yeah, to learn. I do remember that. <laughs> because she did something really good and I wanted to learn how to do it. So I went up to her. You know, you. Oh it, my God, yeah. You, you, were you don't feel you were as intimidated. Sally 
Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Everything you have and learn, always give it away, and always more is going to come to yeah. you. So yeah. if you learn something, I, I know if I have some successful lesson, like yesterday, for example, I told Bryson something about breathing. It's exciting for me, for someone else, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. to have to better maybe what I bettered already. Yeah, I couldn't get to the end of a phrase, and I was like, I, just, I can't, I can't do it. And she said, Well, what if you attempted to breathe this way? And I was like, <laughs> Okay. And I tried it, and after a couple of times, it worked. And now I, now I can actually do that. Oh! 